What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to your video. Today, I'm doing race six for the 2023 Bass Pro Shops Night Race. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series has the Bristol Motors Blue of the Race on the second and last Saturday night race of 2023. This track always brings some great racing, a lot of tempers flaring, a lot of beating and banging, and some pretty solid racing throughout the weekend. The last time we raced for the Bristol Night Race, we saw Chris Busch pick up a pretty shocking victory to pick up a second career NASCAR Cup Series victory. He looks to win his sixth career Cup Series race and his fourth win of 2023. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is looking extremely promising. It's going to be 80 degrees as high with 60 degrees as a low of right now, only a 10% chance to rain with sunny skies. Going to cool off when the race begins, but it's going to be some really nice weather if you're headed out to the racetrack. With this being the cutoff race side who gets into the round of 12, let's take a look at the playoff standings. So going into the final race of the round of 16, both Kyle Larson and Tyler Reddick are locked into the next round. Larson, of course, winning the center 500, and Tyler Reddick winning the previous race at Kansas. Denny Hamlin is 49 points above the cutoff line. William Byron is 41 above. Brad Kozlowski is 33 points above. Ryan Blaney is 25 above. Kyle Busch is 24 above. Ross is 18 above. Both Chris Buescher and Chris Bell are 13 above. Joe Logano is 12 above. And Kevin Harvick is 7 below. Martin Truex Jr. have been the favorite coming into this playoffs. is 7 points below. Bubba Wallace is 19 points below. Ricky Sanders Jr. is 22 below. And Michael McDowell is 40 below. At this point, Martin Truex Jr., in my opinion, is the only driver who can make it in on points. Going to be really exciting to see who gets those last spots to decide who gets to the round of 12. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's our picks work on the channel. I do two suit suck picks, two drivers. I expect to struggle throughout the weekend and the race. I do two underdog picks, two drivers. I expect to run really, really well under front of equipment or need a good run this weekend. And I do the winner's pick, driver thinks going to win the race overall. And I do the drivers need to watch out for. And for the Cup Series, I do five drivers need to watch out for. Sometimes six, but usually I do five drivers need to watch out for throughout the weekend. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Bass Pro Shops Night Race at Bristol? My first suck pick for the Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race at Bristol is the driver of the 99 car for Trackhouse Racing, Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez has not had a great year in 2023. He's at times had some good runs, but Daniel Suarez has not been great on the short tracks this year in the 2023 year, which worries me with when it comes to Ross Chastain. But I don't think Daniel Suarez is unfortunately going to have a good run. I think he's going to struggle. I think he's going to be finishing kind of near the back of the pack, unfortunately. I think Trackhouse Racing is going to bring a lot of speed. So I think Daniel Suarez, unfortunately, does not have a good run this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. My second suck pick for Bristol is the driver of the three car for Rich Schultz Racing, Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon historically has not been great at Bristol. He's had a couple decent runs, but historically, like I mentioned, not great at Bristol. And RCR has kind of struggled on the short tracks throughout 2023. So I just unfortunately believe that Austin Dillon is not going to have a good run. It's not been a good year for Austin Dillon this year. And I think he's ready just to get out of 2023. But I unfortunately think that Austin Dillon is not going to have a good run. And sadly, I think he is going to struggle this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. I'm not expecting a good run. And now we're going to jump on the underdog picks for this weekend at Bristol. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for the Bass Pro Shops Night Race at Bristol is the driver of the 41 car for Stuart Haas Racing, Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest, we all know, has not had a great year in 2023. However, one of the best times we've seen Ryan Priest perform has been on the short tracks. And he's had a couple top 10s and even occasional top 5 coming at Richmond. I think Ryan Priest will be somewhat of a contender, maybe for the win, because Stuart Haas Racing, this is where they have excelled this year. And I think that you're going to see Ryan Priest contend for maybe even a top four or maybe an outside shot at winning. He's a great short track racer. That's what his specialty is. I think Ryan Priest will have a very, very solid and a pretty strong run. I think he does pretty good this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Bristol is a driver of the 43 car for Legacy Motor Club, Eric Jones. Eric Jones has been turning up the wick the last few weeks. It has been pretty great at Bristol throughout his career. He's coming off finishing in the top five at Kansas Speedway. Coming off, of course, also winning, finishing the top ten in the Southern 500. I think his 43 team is building something for next year, and I think they're going to start you off really, really good next year. But I certainly think that they are going to be really, really strong this weekend, and I think Eric Jones will have a very good chance to contend potentially for a victory this weekend and maybe get the 43 car back in victory lane 
for the first time since last year in the Southern 500. I think he has a very strong run at Bristol. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for the Bass First Shops Night Race at Bristol. Who is my winner's pick? This winner's pick I've had probably all year long. This guy came very close to winning this race last year in 2022. But unfortunately, he had power steering failure and unfortunately a flat tire came into play. My winner's pick is a driver of six car for RFK Racing, Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski has been so close but so far to getting the victory this year in 2023. And I think this is a race that bit him last year the most. I think he gets it done this year. I think the RFK is a lot stronger now in 2023 than they were in 2022. And they were coming on in 2022 at this point. So I think that you're going to see Brad Keselowski get it done and lock his way into the round of 12 and get his first win since Talladega in the spring of 2021. I am picking Brad Keselowski to pick up the victory and get it done this weekend at Bristol. He is my winner's pick. So now we're going to jump on a driver's so you need to watch out for this weekend at Bristol. Who should you watch out for? The first driver to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol is a driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson won the fall Bristol race in 2020 in the night race after a lot of controversy had out between Evan Harvick and Chase Elliott. But I think Kyle Larson right now has more momentum than anybody else in the field. Of course, he won the Southern 500, but also finished in the top five of Kansas and did that with probably the fastest car. I think Kyle Larson has a really great chance to win this race. I think the five team and Eric Motorsports in general is going to bring a lot of pace and a lot of speed this weekend. And I think that Kyle Larson has a great chance and a great possibility of getting it done. I think he is going to be a threat this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. The second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol is a driver of the number 17 car for RFK Racing. Chris Buescher. Chris Buescher is the defending winner of the fall race at Bristol, and I think that that number 17 team also has a lot of momentum. Now, obviously, they unfortunately had issues at Kansas Speedway that cost them a great shot at a good run, but I think of how strong RFK has been on the short tracks and the speed they've been showing, especially as of late, I think that Chris Buescher will be a contender and will lock his way into the next round with a very, very solid and great run. I think Chris Buescher has a great run this week at Bristol Motor Speedway. A third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol is the driver of the 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin has historically been pretty good at Bristol. He's won a couple times, won back in 2012. I also think he won another time back in 2020. I think he won another race, I can't remember exactly. 2019 is when he won as well. But I do believe Denny Hamlin is going to be a threat to win. Joe Gibbs Racing has been really great on the short tracks this year. And I think it's no exception this weekend. I think JJR is going to be fast all around. I think Denny Hamill will have a great chance and opportunity to contend for his third victory of 2023. The fourth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol is the driver of the eight car for Rich Schultz Racing, Kyle Butch. Now, I did mention this with Austin Dillon that RCR has not ran great recently at the short tracks. However, Kyle Busch historically has been great at Bristol. He's won there like six or seven times or something like that in his career. I know last year it ended really well, a bad unfortunate, which cost him a shot to go through the next round of the playoffs. But I think that Kyle Busch easily has a top five run. I feel like they just got to figure out how to not have issues throughout the weekend. And I think that's going to help that team going forward. So I think that you're going to see Kyle Busch have a good chance, a great run, and maybe contend for maybe his fourth victory of 2023. And the fifth and final driver I think you should watch out for this weekend at Bristol is a driver of the four car for Stuart Haas Racing, Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick has been turning up the wick the last two weeks. He had one of the best cars in the Southern 500 and had a top five and top 10 car all day long at Kansas Speedway, which really surprised me. And he's been really good on short tracks throughout the year as well. So I think that Kevin Harvick will be a contender here. He won your 2020, which of course is the last time that he won in the NASCAR Cup. Well, actually, no, that's true. He actually won 2022. But still, Kevin Harvick won the fall race in 2020 and has won a couple races at Bristol throughout his career. So I think that Kevin Harvick has a great chance and opportunity to get it done. And maybe, just maybe, in his final season, he gets a walk-off win and gets locked into the next round. So, those are my race picks for the Bassworth Shops NRA Night Race. Just a reminder, my sec picks are Daniel Swartz, Austin Dillon. My underdog picks are Ryan Priest, Eric Jones. My winner's pick is Brad Kozlowski. And the ones to watch out for are Kyle Larson, Chris Buescher, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, and Kevin Hart. Those are my race picks. So... That is going to be it for the Race 6 video for the 2023 Bassworth Shops Night Race at Bristol. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, so you know if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that, and comment your picks below for this weekend at Bristol. 
Let me know your suck picks. Let me know your underdog picks. Let me know your winner's pick. And let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend. And let me know what four drivers you think are going to get eliminated at tomorrow night. Or Saturday night, I should say. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Later tonight on the channel are the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race view from Bristol Motor Speedway. Then, of course, on tomorrow night on the channel, we are also going to have the NASCAR news video. Of course, the Xfinity Series race picks. And then, race view, I should say. And then on Saturday, we'll have maybe a special video drop in the channel along with the Cup Series race view in Bristol as well. And then on Sunday, we'll have a special video dropping on the channel as well. Got a lot of great content dropping the channel that I cannot wait to share with you all. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.